constant dream date turns into an instant nightmare. It has beat me up. And instead of texting and tweeting her friends the next morning, this is Indy Ali's scared and desperate 911 call. There's blood all over the room. Like many digital daters, the model met James Baker online after a dynamic DM popped up in her inbox. He didn't really look like a creep from his pictures. He looked like he had had it going on or something. And with so much access to personal pics, videos, and likes, a one-time social media stranger can quickly feel like a friend. Last July, the 32-year-old made plans to meet offline. The duo drank a lot. Baker posted this video on Instagram from their date. You can tell India is tipsy, while Baker has a much more sobering, if you will, look on his face. She says she doesn't remember leaving the restaurant, has no recollection of their ride back to the LAX area, which Baker also posted videos of on Instagram. Nor could she fathom going up to his hotel room that night. It was horrible. I, I woke up there. When I lifted my head up, there was I was laying in, in a puddle of throw up. So I look around and I see blood everywhere and my clothes everywhere. She says she had been beaten to a bloody pulp and couldn't believe her reflection when she caught a glimpse of herself in the bathroom mirror. Oh my God, I can't believe that happened and what if they come back and kill me? Since her cell phone and car keys were both gone, she used the hotel phone to call for help. So they just there, beat you up? There's blood all over the room. Where, where are you hurt, ma'am? I'm hurt in my face. Indy was rushed to UCLA Medical Center where doctors determined she suffered significant head injuries. Her veins bridging the skull to the brain had torn and her brain had shifted on its axis. In essence, what had happened is she'd been punched in the head so badly that it had caused um, a swelling in the brain. The brain, when it expands, has nowhere to go, so it forces down. And that's what triggers the vomit uh, action. It pressures the fourth vertebrae. The LAPD used her Find My iPhone app and within a few hours tracked Baker down. He was found with her phone in her car at a Marriott Hotel in El Segundo, just a few miles from the Westin. Police would also discover a video of him leaving the Westin that morning around 2 a.m. in her car. He has prior convictions out of state and uh, he's also on bail. Uh, for another offense involving using fake credit cards at the time that he was arrested for this offense. Baker was found guilty, but as for India, she wants her cruel computer connection to be a lesson in today's cyber world. I wouldn't want anybody to go and meet up with anybody that they don't know. Please don't ever do that because your life, you have to value your, your life. And Baker's sentencing in this case was postponed this month so that the judge could hear several motions filed by the defense. Now, Baker is also facing several credit card fraud charges in an unrelated case. For reporting live here at the airport courthouse, Mary Beth McDade will send it back to you guys in this.